Okay, so in the previous video, we set up this problem and we went through the work. So we passed now, rather than simply using a, a disk, which is what we want when we, when we have a single curve, right? If we're kind of revolving that outer red curve, we would get this sort of cone-shaped region. But now we want to we want to cut out this bit in the middle, right? So we want to cut out the other piece and then just leave sort of the the outer region that we get when we revolve around. And so what we do is we take the outer disk, we subtract off the area of the inner disk, which gives us an area like that. Once we have the area as a function of x, we can integrate with respect to x to get the volume. So in our case, the volume ends up looking something like this. We can bring the pi out front, right, common factor of pi, and we integrate x going from 1 to 3. And now we just have to be careful here that we get our curves in the right place. So the outer curve is the, the outer radius is given by the upper curve, which is the line, right? So we do 2x minus 1, and we square it, okay? For the inner curve, the inner curve is given by this quadratic. And now maybe you don't really want to square a trinomial. That gets a little bit annoying. So if you want to, you could use the completed square version here. So the inner radius is going to be the square of x minus 1 squared plus 1. Okay. You don't have to write it this way. It just, at least for myself, this gives me slightly easier algebra, right? Um, Oh, and I still have to square, right? Square that thing, radius squared. Okay, so I want to compute the volume, integrating from 1 to 3. Might as well multiply that first one out. 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. Subtract. So if I square this, squaring the first term, I get x minus 1 to the fourth. Cross term is 2 times x minus 1 squared and then 1 squared, right? Okay. So we can, uh, I don't know, let's, let's simplify a little bit. I'm going to leave these as the R, right? Because we know how to integrate that using power rule and a simple substitution that we don't even bother to write down. So we have the integral from 1 to 3, 4x squared minus 4x minus x minus 1 to the fourth minus 2 times x minus 1 squared. The ones cancel. Okay, so that's going to give me pi times 4 thirds x cubed minus 2x squared minus 1 fifth x minus 1 to the fifth minus two thirds x minus one cubed. And we have to evaluate from one to three. It takes a little bit of effort, right? Numbers are kind of big, but we can we can handle that. Let's see. Three cubed is twenty-seven. Oh, but we're dividing by three, right? Three cubed over three is just nine. Nine times four is thirty-six. So we get 36 from there, minus 18, minus, uh, what are we going to get here? 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 to the 5th is 32, 32 over 5, Three, so 2 cubed is 8 times 2, 16, minus 16 over 3, and now we have to do the lower limit. Right, so we put in x equals 1, we get 4 thirds minus 2. Um, and then these don't contribute, right? 0, 0. Okay. All right. Um, at this point, you're done. I guess you can try to clean that up a little bit if you're, if you're so inclined. It's probably not a bad idea to do it, but um, it's just arithmetic at this point, right? We have our answer.